five or six dreams, probably since quarantine started, um, that I believe are all from the Lord. Um, this is something I've, I've prayed about, um, and I, um, and I've asked God for confirmation, and I believe I received that confirmation. Um, so that's something I want to share with you guys today. Um, is my first rapture dream or rapture end times dream. Um, you guys can kind of, um, perceive it the way you want. Um, but with that being said, um, I said, I've been feeling encouraged by the Lord, but, but I've also been so encouraged by, you know, all everyone on YouTube who's, who's been sharing their dreams and their visions, um, and just being so brave and stepping out of their comfort zones. Um, it's been so great to see so many people um, that the Lord is, you know, pouring his spirit on. And he said he would in Acts 2. He said he would pour out his spirit in the last days. And and that is so evident. Um, uh, and it's been it's been beautiful to see. It really has. So so that has definitely uh, motivated me to and encouraged me to um, put this up on YouTube and and to try to reach as many people as I can um, and wake people up because the time is short. It is very short. Um, but with that being said, I'm going to get into this first dream that I had. Um, this was back in April, um, early April, I believe. So about three months ago. Um, but man, the, the memory is still fresh in my, in my head. Uh, so as the dream started, um, I was standing in an open field. It was, it was dead of night. It was pitch black. Um, and as I'm about to walk home, I look up into the sky and I just have this feeling inside of me that something big is about to happen. Um, and then as I'm looking up into the sky, I just see it part and it shoots open. Um, and all, all this light, this brilliant light just comes down and hits me. Um, and I see Jesus's face up in the clouds. Um, he's so beautiful and he has the most caring look on his face. Um, and he's surrounded by, you know, an army of angels. And I see God behind him. Um, the aura of God, the brilliance of God, not, not his features. Um, I'm definitely not worthy to see that. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I, and the moment I see these, the sky open, I am at a loss for words. I'm on my knees and I'm trembling and I'm, it's the most real thing I've ever felt. Like it's the most, it's like a mixture of fear, um, joy, and just like pure excitement, um, that's how I can describe it. But it was more real than anything I've ever felt in real life. Um, so that's how I know it was a dream from the Lord. Um, so I'm on my knees. And then the next thing I know, the sky closes and it's, and it's pitch black again. Um, and so I start running, running home. Um, and as I'm going home, I just see these big orbs of light coming down um, and landing right next to me. And, and it looks like meteorites or, or asteroids that are flying through the sky and coming down and hitting the earth. Um, and I'm running home. Uh, and then it's kind of a scene change, but, but, uh, I get home and I see my mom talking to my grandma in the, in the kitchen and, and my, my grandma's sick, I can tell. And she's, she has a very bad sickness. And my mom, uh, who owns a few horses is talking about, how she has to put down her horse, um, because he has a t terrible illness. Um, and, and she's so distraught and the mood is so, um, is so damper and, and it's just, you can tell it's, it's a, it's a bad time. Like it's just, you can tell it's a tribulation and, and everyone's, you know, down and, and hopeless. Um, and it was, it was a tough feeling to grasp. Um, and then by the end of our conversation, um, the last scene of the dream is kind of, 
um, all these like snakes and, and locusts and um, like bugs coming down the walls of the house and out onto the floor and out onto the street. Um, and then I, and then I woke up, um, after that. So, man, like I said, this was my first dream back in April, but this, right when I woke up, I knew it was from the Lord and I, man, it was, it was a crazy experience for me. Um, it definitely woke me up even more. Um, and it, it proved to me that time is short. We don't have much time left. Um, man, if you're watching this right now, um, Jesus is real. Jesus loves you. Jesus is coming soon. That's all I can say. Jesus is coming so soon. Um, everything I've seen and I've learned over the past two, three months has pointed me to, and so many other people to the fact that, that we don't have much time left here. Um, things aren't going to go back to normal um, as everyone wants them to. Um, man, we are in some some scary times, but also amazing times. If you know the Lord, you're, you're encouraged. If you know the Lord, you're you're looking up every day um, thinking this might be the day of of my redemption. You're thinking that every day and uh, share your dreams down below. And I encourage you guys to share your dreams uh, here on YouTube as well.